What is happening, everybody? You already know who it is. You know what time it is. Today we are at the crib, and it's time that I give you guys an update of what's going on with the skiff and both of these trailers and everything that I've been doing, like behind the scenes to, um, you know, get both of these <laughs> up and running at the same time, which is uh, proven to be quite a task. Um, I ordered some stuff. It took a little while to get here. I told you guys I was going to do an update, you know, like maybe a week or so ago. But, you know, with all the stuff going on right now, it was kind of hard for me to secure those items in a timely manner. But we got some stuff. And especially for the other trailer, I know you see those ladders right there in the background. I will tell you what those are going to be for at a later date. I'm sure probably some of you have already guessed what I'm going to use those for. And I got this from uh, one of my good buddies. He told me about this and he knows who he is. I ain't going to say no names right now, but when it comes all together, you guys are going to see what that ladder, those all those ladders are about. Um, so first and foremost, I got the hubs. Hold on, I'll be right back. I got to get the hubs. Oh, ooh, these hot. These are hot. It's yo, it's like 80 degrees out here right now. These things are smoking, but these are the hubs. Those are the hubs that came off of the uh, the new trailer that I got. So I took the bearings and all that stuff out of this trailer, uh, the skiff trailer, and put some new tires and new bearings and all that stuff in that. So I'm gonna be putting new, the repacking the bearings and all that stuff for the new trailer in these hubs today. Also, we got some brand new wheels. Look at the wheels. We got some brand new wheels that we're gonna throw on the trailer. Um, and we also have a, we also have a new winch post. So this is gonna sit like this. You know, you get your, your bow stop right here. It's bow stop roller sitting in right here why is it so tight because that's supposed to be on the end of it huh that's weird but anyway bow stop roller right here your winch post so it's gonna set like that and we got a winch to go with it uh, I believe this is a thousand pound winch this is a decent winch. I bought a winch before, but the winch that I bought, the the little gear right here was so crappy that I just had to take it back. I got it from Northern. It was like 20 bucks, but it won't work diddly. So I took that back, got me a more satisfactory winch. And I just bought that whole setup and I believe I got it from like BoatspartsUS.com or something. Um, if you guys are interested in that, I'll leave that everything that I got today I'll leave where I got it from down in uh, the description section and I mean you know we're gonna go ahead and get after it let's get it and so we're about to hit these uh, bearings and everything with some brake clean parts cleaner and just spray them out real quick Spray these bearings off real quick. You know, I already cleaned these things off prior to the day, so they, they're pretty clean. But I just wanted to hit them with some spray again before I repack them. Make sure they're as clean as they possibly can be. But those look pretty good. Bearings, the hubs are, I mean, everything's pretty much clean. So now I'm going to reassemble this. I'm going to pack these things up with some uh, grease. Uh, what you do is just Get some grease in your hand, like so. Some nice greasy grease right there. And then just swab that bearing down in there. Until the, until the grease starts coming out the other side of this bearing. Through the through the through the channel that is. So you keep just dabbing that around in there, dab it around, dab it around, dab that thing. 
make sure you get get it coated nice and good. I just ordered some new seals, double lip seals for the rear. So these are for the rear. You see that spring right there? That's to hold tension around the uh, axle so that no grease will come out the backside. But these are brand new. I think I got these from like uh, Boats Plus or something like that. Like I said, all this stuff will be down in the description. And um, basically, you just after you get your, your uh, hubs greased all up, you got good grease or what you feel is amount, the right amount to get those rollers inside the, uh, the hub spinning pretty good. You just take your, your rear seals. Take your, you just take your rear seal and you, and you put it in there like that. And you're probably going to need like a, uh, a rubber mallet to uh, make it seat all the way down. But it's as simple as that, as far as that goes. Now I just got to re-grease, uh, repack these two bearings right here to go in the front. And then we can put the hub back on the axle and, um, you know, we can keep rocking and rolling. Bam, feed it in there just like that. And get these bearings greased right here. And then we can reinsert them on the game on trailer. So this is a, uh, a bearing buddy, and what it has is, uh, it has a, a zerk right in the middle here. Right in the middle there's a zerk, and there's a piston inside here. So what it does is, when you fill it with grease right in the middle here, that piston comes out. And here's some marking right here. So when you know how if, if you got enough grease when it that piston comes out to the uh, to the green line you don't want to overfill it because you'll blow a seal in the back but that's what we got there that's a bearing buddy that's protect protect the bearings inside and keep the grease all nice and all grease and not no water getting into it so we're gonna do this other side the same way and then we're gonna work on the front.
All right, guys, so we got that first part of that done. We got them wheels and tires. Wheels and tires looking good, looking good. Brand new freshies on there. So now we are about to conquer this. We're just going to get this off of here and then install the new, the new hotness right there. So just keep rocking with me, man. Let's get it. All right, guys, so we got everything pretty much wrapped up on the trailer. We just need to get uh, some bunk boards. I got the clips coming soon to uh, reattach the bunk boards. And after I do that, then she'll be pretty much ready to go. Um, big shout out to everybody that's tuned in to this, man. I really appreciate the support. And if you guys want to see more videos like this, just let me know down in the comment section. Um, I really do appreciate everybody. And here's one more look at what we got left. So we definitely got to change this hitch out. This is a inch and seven eighths. No, it's a two inch hitch. Um, my other trailer is an inch and seven eighths. So I'll be putting an inch and seven eighths trailer. We got the new jack on here, new winch, new uh, post roller stop. Um, we got a bow stop, <laughs> new bow stop roller. Um, this looks pretty good. Like I said, we just need to get these bunk boards replaced. Kind of old, rusted out right there. But once we get those bunk boards replaced, should be good to go. I can set the aluminum boat on here. And of course, we got all new treads, hubs, uh, bearings, and the... Uh, bearing buddies on there so so it is what it is guys i hope you enjoyed this video make sure you drop a like comment also hit that little bell notification let you know when i post something fishing related and don't forget to subscribe man until next time keep them lines wet because it's all about the hook set let's get it